Good morning and happy August 23rd. I have no idea what time it is. Hold on. It is about 10 a.m. I am ready for the day. Got a full face on, looking cute. I don't know why I just went back here, but um. So this shirt is a cropped off the shoulder. And it's from American Eagle. And I'm wearing an acid wash jean skirt from Forever 21. Hold on. Oh, wait, you can. Awesome. Okay. Hold on. I'm just going to show you what I'm wearing in my mirror for school. Because it's like actually perfectly placed. Okay, so, off the shoulder, crop top from American Eagle. It's got like a red, pinky flower thing going on. And then acid washed jean skirt from Forever 21. Alright, um, and the plan today is to go take pictures at a sunflower field and then go to the mall. Oh, and I found my ring. I'm just gonna go outside. entire family knows about this but they still get super weird when they see me filming so um I found my ring I don't know if I actually told you guys that I lost it oh no wait maybe okay yeah so like last week I threw it in my purse because it was like kind of too small for the finger I had it on so it was like starting to turn red and stuff so I chucked it in my purse and then I didn't notice it wasn't in there for like almost a week um so yesterday last night I went to get my car detailed which is a fancy term for getting the inside washed <laughs> and um it was just sitting on my passenger seat so I guess it fell out of my purse at some point in between now and then but um hi baby sorry my dog's at the gate this is my backyard, by the way. Like, I'm not sure I've ever been back here with y'all. Come on. Good girl. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a little backyard tour, because why not? I'm waiting on my family to get ready. Like, I, get, I woke up at 7.15, but then I ended up laying in bed until 8. They were all up before me. Somehow I'm done first. And I took an actual shower. The fuck, whatever. Okay, backyard tour. Right, so there is my like sliding glass back door, and then um, there's a door over there because the back room that I keep all my school stuff in was actually an extension that the people put who lived here before us. Um, so like his mother could move in with them or something. I don't know. Okay, and then we have our patio furniture here. That is a fire table right there. It's actually kind of cool. Um, don't know how to make it work to turn it on, but lift it up and there's like holes. Okay, and then there's my baby in my nasty pool. Some more patio furniture. Um, we keep the cushions for all the furniture in this tote and then cool stuff is in that one. Random logs, no one knows why the people who slip here put in, but they did. Okay, now. This is the pool house. I'm using air quotes, you can't see that. But like, we just have like a table and inflatables in there. And then like a mini fridge to keep water and stuff or when we're out here. Dorks balls in here. And then we have a whole bunch of plants and because our pool is in ground we have to have it fenced in so behind the fence you can see our other shed we keep a bunch of crap in that I don't even know what's in there our trampoline and then our fire pit is that where those blue things are they are the benches so we have to move them in there every time we mow the lawn obviously um, and then our property kind of goes it goes to like the middle trees and that's just like 
uncut field area. Um, yeah, that's my backyard. So we got this weird rock speakers, um, lounge chairs. Don't even want to know how many frogs are in that filter I just walked over. <laughs> and yeah, and there's the gate the dog came in through. Alright, so that was my backyard. Forgot to mention the grill. But it's whatever. There's a bunch of like plants and half the dog's toys are MIA because we would take them out here to appease her when we were in the pool. And they're like up in the bushes now. And of course she's running around with a tennis ball in her mouth rather than the ball I just rescued from the um, pool house. <laughs> I don't know why we actually call it that. It's more like a shed. A couple years ago they updated it. Put like shiplack wood and painted something. Hold on. I haven't actually looked to see what they did in here. No, it's been like three years. Okay, yeah. So they like did all of this wood and stuff and then I'm pretty sure they repainted the siding around the windows and then they did that on the roof and then there's like a couple of things from this um, Hilton Head, which is an island off of South Carolina that we love. Um, we got those last time we were there, which was spring break senior year. So, yeah. You know what sucks? My mom bought like three inflatables off of Amazon and then it got super cold and we couldn't get in the pool for like a month. Um, and then when it was warm, we were in Disney slash Florida and then we've just been super busy since. <laughs> it's been cold. Or rainy. It feels super cute. I'm just like waiting for my family to get their shit together. Shade. So bright. Okay. I'm gonna try and get the dog inside. I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, so it's like four o'clock. We've been back for two, three minutes. Um, first thing we did today was go to the sunflower farm. I think I have a clip from there. It was just unbelievable. Um, got some nice pictures, but like that even wasn't that wasn't even the point. Like, I'm so in love with sunflowers. To me, they just represent happiness and joy and light. And they just amaze me. Um, and then we went to the Ulta, just because my moisturizer is $10 cheaper there. Where are you? So, yep, just got a bottle of moisturizer. And it is the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Daily Face Cream. Okay, and then we went over to... Dick's, the sports store, because my sister wanted to look at leggings. She didn't see any she liked. She was like, let's just look at the outlets near the school after we drop her off. Um, and then we walked over to Moe's, which if you don't know, is a counter service Mexican place. We all got burritos. Um, and then we went over to the mall. So, of the things I have, the first place we went, if I can find in here. Yes. This is in here. Huh. There's like shampoo samples and then Sephora bag. That's weird. Okay, so I got um, a milk foundation in Golden Light. Um, it was actually free because I had $35 worth of gift card from my birthday and then, um, I had some money on Visa gift cards I got for graduation last year. 
Okay, and then after that we went to Tilly's, which I don't know how to, it's a clothes store. If you don't know it, I'm sorry. Uh, that's not good. Sorry, Katie has stuff in this bag too. So I got this black tube top. It's just knit. It's cute. It's kind of long for a tube top, but I don't really like it. Um, and then um, I saw a flannel I liked, but they didn't have it in my size. So we ordered it online, and it's being shipped to school. I'm going to leave you out. And then my big purchase, I got a pair of Adidas sneakers. Okay, I got these superstars. Um, just black and white. Super cute. I think the thing that drew me to them was like the gold detailing on the tongue. I, can't, I don't know if you can tell. And then um, my sister forgot her socks that she brought to try and shoes in the um, car. And we were going to share the one pair I brought, but then all of the shoes that we asked to try on came out at once. So we ended up with a pack of socks so my sister could try on shoes. And these are actually all hers. And that's just everything I got today. And then we had a food truck rodeo at my high school today for the sports department. It's a fundraiser. So that'll be fun. I'm not wearing this. Um, and yeah, I might film a little bit there if I can get something that doesn't show where I live or what high school I went to. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, so Katie is at the food truck thing because she has to work at for cheer. So I'm just gonna really quick show you what she got today. Um, from Tilly's, she got this, the long sleeve white shirt. It says Santa Cruz Skateboard Company. She also got a green tube top, same kind as me, just different color. Um, a pair of leggings from Aerie. She actually had the airy bag when I was showing you what I got earlier. I got three pairs of leggings. And she got some Doc Martens from Journeys as well as the socks. Um, tanning mitt from Sephora. And another pair of leggings from Lululemon. But those were on sale. Hey. It's like 11 p.m. I'm super tired. Today was kind of crazy. Um... I didn't film at the food truck thing just because you couldn't go anywhere without seeing a kid in the sports uniform that had their, um, everything from my high school sprawled all over it. So, you know, privacy reasons. Couldn't really film somewhere that had my hometown written across every other person's chest. Um, there was a mac and cheese food truck, though. I got something from there, and then, um, we wandered around, found, um, my, Katie, my sister's best friend's parents, and then their older daughter is a senior this year, so I had some questions about my, where I go to school now, because apparently she's looking there. And then um, we just hung out with them for a little while, and um, I got beignets, which are awesome. And uh, me and my mom might have finished the flowers. Got to see how I feel about it in the morning, because right now I'm a little indifferent. We just covered up the problem. And my sister was like, but it looks so stupid if you just do that part, you have to go all the way up at the burlap. So, it's about half. Like, that's how much it took to cover everything up. And I'll see how I feel about it in the morning. Um, they had night two of the Royals thing. I don't know. They're NBC or ABC. I don't remember which one it was. Um, came up, like, 20 minutes early, though. Just because they got to the Harry and Meghan's wedding. And that literally just happened. So, I'm like... I remember this, it just happened. I 
sat on my couch home alone with a bag of McDonald's watching it because um my family went down to see my grandparents for the weekend but I had to work like seven hour shifts both Saturday and Sunday and it's like two and a half three hour drive to get to my grandparents house from here so it didn't really make sense for me to go down like Friday or anything like that so I stayed home with the dog and I stopped at McDonald's with my wife home from work and paid with my tip money um I don't know how I afforded it. I got like four dollars that day. <laughs> um, I just sat there and watched the royal wedding by myself. And it was like there's like moments where the British commentators would be like cutting off the American ones and they're trying to like talk about the history and stuff. And the American ones were just trying to compliment her dress. I don't know why I care so much about this still. It's been two months. Also, peep this strand of hair that just came flying out with my bun. Um, tomorrow, I'm probably going to do my last little laundry here. Um, and then start packing clothes. There's that stack of um hangers I got from Target to keep here it's just been taunting me all week <laughs> I bought those on like Monday um yeah the sunflower field was amazing the mall was the mall got the shoes that I'm excited about though my, where are those Sundays? My mom's like, wear sneakers. I'm like, well, I'm not planning on bringing my other pair because they, they're beat. Um, I bought them right before we went to New York City a few years ago. So I wore them then. Um, and then I wore them Disney once or twice once but it was a two it was the one when we, we were just there so we were there for two days and then i also wore them when we were in toronto we walked about 10 miles both days so those those shoes are beat and new york city was like four days at least five miles a day those shoes have been through hell <laughs> those shoes need to be retired so they're not going to school with me. Um, so if my mom's convinced we have to wear sneakers because we're lugging stuff and moving furniture, I guess that means I'm wearing my new Adidas. They run really big, so I've got like a seven in them. I'm like, I haven't been a seven since middle school. What the fuck? Like, I stopped growing when I was like 12. I have been 5'4" longer than I haven't been. Actually, no. I got a couple of years before that's true. But it's getting close to that. Um, and then my, I'm usually a size eight for my feet, so I'm like seven, the fuck? But I'm a little obsessed with my shoes and Part of me wants to wear my tube top, and part of me is like, bitch, no, you are moving furniture, you are lugging shit. Um, there's a lot of people already there, because you can apply to move in early. Like, my neighbor, literally, like, next door to my house, like, here, um, goes to school with me. She's a senior this year. I think she's actually graduating in December, I don't know. She's moving in this Thursday. Saturday my mom texted her mom to see if she'd be available to let the dog out while we're gone um well everything's happening um just because like she hasn't been in her crate for like a full day in a few months and she's probably gotten used to being able to go out whenever she wants um, 
Yeah, so she's moving in tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Freshman move in tomorrow. She's moving in Saturday. Um, as far as I know, she still lives in the apartments. Um, on campus. I've never seen them, but I'll probably go tour them in February or March. Let's see. Because I'm going to... I'm trying to get those for next year. Either that or Varsity Village, which is like an actual like how they're like houses in the middle of campus, which would be convenient. But the apartments have a their own parking lot for each building. Instead of just parking at the back of the stu um student parking for the towers, which is where I live now. It's like the back of the par student parking for the towers is like almost right next to the village, depending on where you, which house you have in there. I just, I don't want to live in the dorm for another year after this. As much as I love it. Because it's actually like super convenient. Because um, my building has a bunch of offices and stuff in it. Like, um, if you need counseling, that's in the basement. Um, and then, Res Life is in the other building. T the um, academic support center. So, tutoring, stuff. Um, and like the writing center and stuff like that is all on the first floor of my building. Oh god, there's something else. I can't just, I can picture the door. I just have no idea what it is. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of really great amenities to the building I get to live in. But, um, where am I going with this? <laughs> a lot of really great amenities. But I am going to want to live in more than a 2x4. I can handle it for two years. That's not a big deal. But, um... There are other on-campus on housing options that I'm excited about. And yeah. I have, like, two more days. And it just dawned on me that 11 p.m. chats aren't gonna work as well like I don't know what I'll be able to film once I get there like obviously you, I'm gonna do a move-in video then I'll do a dorm tour probably well Catherine is at her night class so I probably won't film that until Tuesday I'm 99% sure that's what that is but if I lock the door, I can just make it seem like I'm FaceTiming someone. Because <laughs> everybody doesn't need to know everything about me. Like, my, um, like, floor... Right, all right, see. The upperclassmen that watch us, they don't need to know every little detail about my life. Um... Like, they don't need to know that that Taylor Swift shrine's been there for, like, five years. But no, nothing has been here for five years. I've even lived here for five years. The Taylor Swift shrine was there for, essentially, right after we moved in. It was probably, like, a month or two later. Um. Yeah. Um, all they really need to know is that I... Will not be a nuisance. I don't know. I live next to one of them. I think it's the one that gets the bathroom in the room. Um, there's like okay, they're both juniors. I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, for so for our like. Like we call them community advisors, but the rest of them calls them residence advisors or RAs. Um, they have two per floor, because like one takes one half, one takes the other. Um, and last year I had a senior and a sophomore on my floor, and um, 
the senior had the room that had a bathroom in it. And then the sophomore had to use the community bathrooms like everybody else. But she, apparently she got the... She was telling us in May that she gets the, um, the room with the bathroom this year. So, I'm rambling about nothing. Um, I'm going to go to sleep. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, it's getting really hard to... Sorry, this just... My um, ring from Disney didn't fit on this hand. I don't know why, but my other rings did. So I just switched the hands. I did not mean to just flick you off. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so um, just I had this ring on for like six months straight on this hand. Um, like I sleep with it on. I don't take it off, just cause like it's a, just a band. Like there's nothing fancy about it. My other rings I take off cause there's like jewels and stuff. I don't want things happening to. Um, but I had this on for like six months, and the same finger, and then I moved it last night, and then I'm like, the fuck. I kind of hate it over there, but I'll get used to it eventually. When I added the opal ring um, on that hand that's right there that you can't see, the one that's holding you, um, it took me like two weeks to get used to because I was like, there shouldn't be more than one ring here. And for some reason, I thought about switching hands and more here on Target to see if anybody thought I was actually married. I don't know. I was ending this. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to see you same place, same time tomorrow. Good night, everyone.